Welcome back everybody to Third Total War Divide and Conquer. My name is Saf and today we are fighting against Mordor. This time though we are not doing it at Henneth Anun, we are at Minas Ithil. Formerly known as uh, Minas Morgul when we took it earlier on in the campaign. So these invasion armies, pretty sure that Minas Ithil is the invasion target. Uh, for long the respected with his 2600 troops are going to be trying to hold Minas Ithil against the shadows of Mordor. So we've got two enemy generals. We've got some temple guard. Those are the three main units. Everything else are relatively sort of low to middle tier units. And the reinforcement army, same again, just with the general. No other heavy units in that army. So in theory, we should be okay if we can hold our ground. Now the enemy general here, Gian Dur. We can take him out using uh, wooden stakes with some of our Athelian Rangers, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Also, that will impact the other general as well in the reinforcement army. So let's hope that we can uh, do this battle with minimal casualties. Because we do have that, I think it was a Harad army next to uh, Minas Ithil as well. Not involved in the army, thankfully, but uh, it was there. So let's have a little look here. The enemy army all the way over there. The reinforcements are involved in this battle, unfortunately. So um, at the end of the last episode, I was hoping that perhaps it would give a um, reinforcements delayed icon. Unfortunately, that is not the case. So it looks like we're going to have to fight both armies. Thankfully, they only have one way into this place. Oh, look at that. Apparently, we can deploy stakes down here. Facing the wrong way, though. Let's deploy stakes there. Let's put these archers over here, out the way. All speaking in unison. <laughs> There's all my militia units. <coughs> So I, I don't really want to waste these guys if I can help it. So I might have these guys as like the second the second gate. I would like to try and hold this area. This is the most open point that we have. Um, I can have my archers on the flanks and stuff here. So so I have my heaviest units back here for the moment. Including my peacekeepers, actually. I'll keep my peacekeepers at the back here for a, for a while. I do want to keep something heavy up front. So I'm going to have my general and the Lamadan clansmen up here. Two levels of wooden stakes. I wonder if I can maybe do... No, I can't. I was going to say, I wonder if I could do maybe a little angled thing and then have both of them covering this the sides as well. But this should be enough to take care of the enemy cavalry when they charge up through. So, unfortunately, we can't take... Oh, can we occupy the walls? Oh, we can. Hello. Well, this is going to be interesting. So we can have troops up on top of the wall. Not the gate, though. All that bit. Okay. All that bit. Oh, dear. Uh, what I might do, then, is maybe have... A unit up top. I don't know if they can come back down. There are doors there, but... Knowing this game, it could just glitch out. So I might have one unit of archers up top just to try and shoot down hopefully they can just shoot through that but or maybe i'll go here and maybe they can just shoot from the from the top the wall let's see how that works out a little test run so that's everything okay 
Whoops, did not mean to press delete. That zooms in on your unit. Okay, so how am I going to do this? My ranges. So let's take our time here. We don't need to rush. So we've got four units of militia that don't have an armor upgrade. So let's sort ourselves out in this way. There we go. So that's two rows of militia there. Put one of the archers up there because the enemy can't climb up that wall. That, that, that slope, they'll have to go around. So we have one of our archers there. Nice and advantageous position. In fact, I might put the other one up there as well. So that when the first one runs out of ammunition, they can just swap round. So let's not have that militia on the flank. But, oh, should we? Hmm. I suppose we should. Alright, so we've got two spear units. Not really going to need to use them, so I'm actually going to probably... Oh, we can do shield wall formation with them. So maybe I'll do like a little shield wall in between my flanks there just for a bit of fun. General, you can go at the back there. Clansman just getting that gateway, block it off. Put you there. Open up the gap a bit for my rangers to shoot through. We've got to wait for the enemy to get to us now. I mean, we're more or less ready, so... Silver level armor for this general. Look at the, look at it. Lambda and Clansmen, I think, just generally have the cloaks as, when they have no armor upgrade. These guys have got full metal plate and everything. Beautiful. So typically, <coughs> excuse me, typically the AI has uh, 
for all this wheezy cough there. I don't know why. But, um, yeah. So, typically the AI has brought up ladders, which they can't use. They've got one ram. I don't think they have any other rams either. Thankfully for us. And that other army is going to take a while to get all the way around to us. So we'll be able to take out take out this army first. Before the other one even gets close. So let's just do a test fire for you guys. Okay, so you can fire a little bit up and over. It's not really that helpful, to be honest, though, is it? <laughs> uh, might take you guys off the wall. Where do you guys go? Oh, all the way over there. Okay. <laughs> they go to the tower there and they just appear down here as well. I'm going to bring them around this way. Put them with this pile up here. If we can keep this hill occupied, we should be fine with our archers. So the majority of this episode is basically going to be this battle, unfortunately. If they are even starts battering them down the gates. Are they actually going to attack? What are they doing? Quarter of the time limit has already been and gone. What is going on? These troops have already made it over here. I don't know what's going on. I could just wait out the time limit, but that's kind of boring. And this, the armies would still be here as a threat. So it's kind of in my best interest to fight this battle and defeat these guys. What am I waiting on exactly? What are we waiting for the AI to finish doing? Moving troops around over here or... Is it these three we're waiting on? Who are we waiting on? What's going on? Right. Screw this. Right now, double back. Gates open for you. Come on. Wow, the gate is actually just staying open. Oh 
Oh my days, what is this? I mean, I was able to attack this place no problem, but the AI just seems to really hate attacking these custom maps. Is it because you guys are still walking around? That's why? So some of you are slowly making your way around. Get an archer down here. We're going to fire some pot shots at the enemy. Apparently, I'm not going to fire pot shots at the enemy because invisible gate. Oh my goodness. Right, get over that. <sighs> okay. Wow. They're not even Wow, this is this is new. Even when I start attacking them here, they're not actually charging out to meet me. They're not surging for... Oh, okay, now they are. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna lose a few men here doing this, but oh well. At least this gets the freaking battle started. Jeez. Come on, enemy general. Charge through. Why are you firing at Will? Thought I switched that off. Why are you guys walking? Oh my goodness. This is not what you signed up for. Enemy general not coming through. I'm swapping you guys around because, jeez, you just suicidal. Okay, here we go. Enemy general is dead. Lovely. And the other army is on the move, I think. Yeah, it is, according to the mini-map. Okay, here we go, finally.
No, please don't attack. Put those archers down there. You guys shoot into there. Lots of dead orcs. Hey, you guys. Fire your damn bows. Apparently, have Temple Guard attacking our guys over there. Fire into the orc band in the gateway. Oh, I'm actually losing quite a lot of militia. more green down there than red so Excuse me. I mean, thankfully, they're not just going out. They're not trying to attack me in all in one go. Ah, there goes the uh, enemy army. Just realized something. I haven't done my grouping thing either, which is kind of funny. I normally do a full group up thing. Right. Militia form up. These two militia units can retreat. They've done enough. If I can even do anything with the freaking camera. This unit's not done anything so far, so... <laughs> Thirteen for twenty-eight. Right, seeing as you guys haven't done anything, I'm going to charge you forward. You can go and capture me some prisoners. Before the other enemy army arrives. How many prisoners can you get me? Quite a lot. About 200. <laughs> Back, please. 
13 for 33. That's nice. That's a good third. So we are now waiting on. So all these guys are retreating. These guys here haven't moved. We've now got the other enemy general marching his way around. Who's at the head of the army as well. So he'll come in first. Who's this? Kill that bugger. That's the general, isn't it? Tell my guys to walk around here. They'll end up automatically fighting this guy anyway. That's the other general. Pretty sure. Ah, there goes that general. Lovely. Not too shabby. So here come the enemy troops again. They've regrouped. They're on the way back in. Come around just to shoot at the temple guard. That's it. Turn your backs on my archers as they shoot at you. It's the most sensible thing you've done all day. Ah, half of the main force. Lovely. So that means we've taken out a good thousand at least. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Hopefully the other enemy general is going to start running through because he's just sitting on the bridge at the moment. Or oh, he's walking along the bridge. Has he learned from the mistakes of the previous general? There's the remainder of that bodyguard. He has learnt the lessons. <laughs> but let's see if one guy attacks our troops. Will the rest start running towards our troops to help out? Yep. There we go. He's down. <laughs> there he goes. I knew it. As soon as one of the guy, as soon as one of the people in the enemy unit hits our troop line. The rest charge forward to rush to the aid and to get involved in the fighting. And then, inevitably, well, that's what happens. So that's all three enemy generals dead. All three enemy generals have been killed. Oh, the Temple Guard are shooting flaming shot at us. That's nice of them. Time limit is not too far away from finishing. Group two. Right. 
Let's retreat you two if I can. Not doing very well against cavalry despite being a spear unit. The awkward thing is we've only killed a little over a third of the enemy army. Oh, the last, the three minute counter has started. for the battle time limit. Oh, Orc Maulers have routed. We're surging forward. You just hear all the arrow hits. That's 48%. We're in, we've nearly lost 20% of our troops. Come on, Orc Band. When are you going to route? There we go. Look at the prisoner count going up. We are victorious. The day has ended and spared our enemy even greater defeat. May there be many more such victories. Can we get to 500 before the commentary? Oh, no. Oh, nearly. 492. So we lost 459 of our own troops. So we're still over 2,000 men available for fighting. So we lost... We were at 19 or 20% by the time of that ended, so we went back down about 2%, so that's not too bad. So, got quite a lot of uh, kills among the militia. No surprises there. Obviously, they did take out the brunt of the battle, but the big important thing is that that's three Mordor generals destroyed. Destroyed, killed, no longer a threat. Two of them were... Uh, Nazgul, which is quite interesting. Or not Nazgul. Uh, the Ringwraiths. I thought the Nazgul... Wait, what was... I thought the Nazgul were the winged beasts. Ah, well, no. We'll call the Nazgul the Riders. I always forget. 
I always get confused sometimes with that. Nazgul, Ring Wraiths. Greedy men who fell to the powers of the rings. Whatever you want to call them. Execute that. Well, that's two invasion armies uh, no longer applicable. I'm looking for time. I think I'm going to have to... Oh. I think I genuinely am going to have to end the episode there. So the entire episode was that one battle that took forever. Because I think it's going to be exactly... It's going to be a similar situation with this. I mean, we've had this situation before where they just don't like to attack Heneth and Noon. So, uh, but we'll have to try and sort that out in the next episode, unfortunately, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you all then.